What is up, everybody, and welcome back for another one. While you're here, smash those likes and hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell so you will be notified any and every time I post another video. But let's get right into it. While the market is down, it tried to pick back up. But what you do not realize and what people fail to realize sometimes is while the market is down, they try to sneak in things that we may not realize while the market is going up. Because while the market is going up, we have that hopium. Like, oh, this crypto is going to the moon. Oh, this altcoin. Oh, is it alt season? That's what we don't realize that. And me, I, I also felt, you know, to see that sometimes. But this one, I don't understand why nobody's talking about this. Because the Bank of Israel claims public support for its CBDC project for the digital shekel. I'm telling you, folks, this is going to be huge. And for those that don't know what a CBDC is, also known as a central bank digital currency, I'm going to just quickly go over it real quick. A central bank digital currency, also known as a CBDC, um, is similar to cryptocurrency, but it's issued by a central bank. They are usually pegged to the value of the country's fiat currencies. And many countries uh, are currently developing, you know, CBDCs right now. Some have implemented them and some have not. They said that it's a pilot because there's just so many countries out there that are currently researching ways for translations for these digital currencies. It's important to actually understand what they are and what they mean for the society. Now, if you ask me, I firmly believe that there's two blockchains that um, CBDCs can and will be on the front end and the back end. And that is XLMs. That's the Stellar Lumens blockchain and the XRPL uh powered by xrp of course those are the two blockchains that i firmly believe that a central bank digital currency also known as a cbdc could potentially and will be on i mean you know you got xrp uh, with with the xrpl and then you have xlm with um stellar lumens blockchain it's literally they have x's in them for cross-border payments i'm telling you folks just wait and see but what people don't so for my people that are coming in from TikTok um, who don't know what cryptocurrencies are and they're following me because of my content on TikTok, I really appreciate it. But I'm going to ask you to please subscribe and click that like button and that notification bell because everything that's happening right now is very valuable and is very important that when you see the market drop. Just because the market drops, that doesn't mean that it's time to sell. Just because the market drops, that doesn't mean that Bitcoin is a scam. Just because the market drops, that doesn't mean that XRP is a scam. Just because the market drops, that doesn't mean that Cardano is a scam. It's just when the market drops, sometimes it's a plan way to drop the market to make you sell your tokens. Now, let me ask you this. Did it work? I don't know, man. If you ask me, I... I didn't sell. I thought about selling, you know, but I did not because at the end of the day, I was still reminded that this crypto world is going to be huge and huge is exactly what it is going to be. I'm telling you, it is going to be something banana, something crazy. But back over to the central bank digital currencies. If you did not know, a central bank digital currency is a form of that country's current money uh, usually a cbdc is issued and regulated by a nation's monetary authority or a central bank um, and they also promote financial inclusion and, and simplify the implementation of monetary and physical physical policy and usually what happens is as a centralized form and since a cbdc is a form of centralized form of, of currency they may not um, make transactions anonymous uh, just like some cryptocurrencies do, but that is going to change because um, when it comes to making uh, transactions for Z for CBDCs anonymous, there is one person in particular, and I'm going to touch over that here briefly. There's one person in particular that's actually changing that, and I do believe what's going to happen is with the president's executive order um asking 
every form of government in the United States of America to study central bank digital currencies and to study cryptocurrencies to get together and figure out how they can regulate it, which I believe they've already done. They're just waiting for the best moment to do it. They cannot let a good crisis go to waste. Um, But I will say this in particular, when it comes to the executive order, I do firmly believe in it. And I'm just speculating because this is a speculation channel, right, folks? I'm speculating and I'm believing that there's going to be people from the U.S. government, people from um, one person from every government is probably going to come together to form some type of intergalactic international uh, digital asset crypto trading group, whatever you want to call it, not trading group, but um, regulatory enforcement group. I don't know how that's going to be. I don't know what's going to happen, but this is what sparked me to actually think that um, this right here, this bill by the man, the myth, the legend, the one that's doing it all in Congress right now, but Congressman Tom Emmer back in January, January 12th, 2022, he introduced the bill prohibiting the Fed from issuing a central bank digital currency directly to individuals. Now, this ties into this because the Bank of Israel said that they've are they've got the approval from uh, the public. The people are loving this approval. Um, They haven't made a they haven't made a final decision yet on whether or not they're going to launch a digital shackle, but they're getting positive public feedback on this project. And here's why I say that. Because this bill here goes off and I'm going to click on it. Let me see if it let me click on it. Okay, this is this is the bill and I'm not going to read it. But what I am going to, I'm just going to let you see it. This is what the bill looks like, okay? But I'm just going to read what he says. As other countries like China develop a CBDCs that fundamentally omit the benefits and protections of cash, it is more important than ever to ensure the United States digital currency policy protects financial privacy, maintains the maintains dollar's dominance, and cultivates innovation. Now, earlier I just told you what a CBDC was and how sometimes that since a CBDC is a centralized uh currency of that particular um, country's money, our currency, that it could be sometimes anonymous. However, this bill that Congressman Tom Emery is actually cultivating together, he wants a CBDC to still be anonymous and still have private transactions, i.e. like if I go to the bank and I take money out of my account and put it in my wallet. But but then I decide to give money to someone, maybe like my mom, my cousin, my wife, whomever, and I decide to give them money, right? That is considered a private transaction. It will go from my wallet, my physical wallet to their physical wallet or purse. He's trying to make it exactly that way to still give us privacy without having big brother or big sister look at our transaction and say, hey, you can't be doing that and say, hey, this is not how we want to condone our CBDC. That's what he's trying to do. Um, He then goes off by saying CBDCs that fail to adhere to these three basic principles could enable an entity like the Federal Reserve to mobilize itself in into a retail bank, collect personal identifiable information on users and track their transactions indefinitely. That's where the whole World Economic Forum comes on, comes and says you will own nothing and like it. That's where that comes into play. But he is trying to stop it. And I believe that he can stop it. And like I said, I just believe that eventually what's going to happen is there's going to be one person from every government joining together and joining forces to create some type of digital asset regulation economic system. I don't know. Um Not only does this CBDC model raise single point of failure issues, leaving Americans financially information that's actually should be crossed out and and, and, and actually should say leaving any country who who's created a CBDC's um, financial information vulnerable to attack. But it could be used as a surveillance tool that Americans should never be forced to tolerate from their own government.
Then it also says requiring users to open up an account at a Fed to access a United States CBDC or a or that said country CBDC would put the Fed on an insidious path akin to China's digital authoritism. Any CBDCs implemented by the Fed must be open, permissionless, and private. Now that sounds like either XRP blockchain or Stellar Lumens blockchain. But that's for another story. This means that any digital dollar must be accessible to all transact on the blockchain that is transparent to all and maintain the privacy elements of cash. That's that whole I go to the bank, take money out of my account and then put it in my wallet and then give it to someone else. That's, con that's considered a that's considered an element of cash privacy uh, without the government being down my back. In order to maintain the dollar status as the world's reserve currency in a digital age, it is important that the United States lead with a posture that prioritizes innovation and does not aim to complete compete with the private sector. Simply put, we must prioritize blockchain technology with American characteristics rather than mimic China's digital authoritarianism out of fear. So that's how I. So that's what. So that's what I say when it's all going to come together, and how when I say that everybody now in the government aspects outside of the U.S. is actually getting public feedback and public knowledge on how they should create CBDCs. You even got, <coughs> excuse me, you even got the Jamaican um, digital dollar. I forgot the name, but they actually um, got public feedback and the name of Jamaican dollar that I can't remember right now. So I apologize if anyone's listening to me about that. Um, but they actually have the Jamaican dollar and that was actually named from a contestant and a, con a contestant actually named that. Um, but when it comes to this CBDC, it is very important that you actually watch what they do and not what they say, because it is very imperative that you actually see and know what is actually going on, because while the market is down, they're actually talking about possibly launching the digital shekel shackle and i'm just going to just briefly go over this because now that you know what a cbdc is and how important that it could be and how it will change the world you have to know that there's other nations and other countries that are doing this because because it says the bank of israel summarized the results of public council uh consultation on its central bank digital currency plans it has received 33 response responses from different sectors with half of them coming from a board and 17 of them coming from domestic fintech communities i wonder what communities those are while specifying that the final decision on the project's fate is yet to be made but here's the thing this was actually talked about back in june of 2021 how they were piloting a cbdc and usually when something is piloted, that means that it's already done. You know, that's just their way of saying, hey, we have something that we're going to pilot, but it's already actually finished. We're just going to launch it when we are ready. Kind of like the digital dollar back in March of 2020 when the first COVID bill came out. Uh, they wanted to introduce the digital dollar, but then in April it was it was removed. So that was a sign saying that, hey, the digital dollar is ready. So let's do the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit in December. December 23rd, December 22nd, 2020. And that's what's happening now, folks. Now, countries and nations don't want to be the first, and they definitely don't want to be the last. But this is interesting. I wonder what blockchain they are going to be on. And like I said, there's only two blockchains right now that can actually support CBDCs. I'm not discrediting any other CBDCs out there. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not discrediting any other blockchains, but right now we only know of XLM blockchain and xrp's blockchain um so we yet to know what is going to happen with the cbdc for the digital shekel um it then goes off by saying the bank mentions that some commentators prefer the future currency to be fully anonymous there's that word again an anonymous and anonymous goes back and plays with what Congressman Tom Emmer was talking about of it being privacy. I believe that that bill that he actually cultivated together is going to be used internationally. It has to be because 
He knows what he's talking about. And there's very few people in the U.S. government that knows what they're talking about when it comes to crypto. He knows he's talking about this bill is going to have an impact on every CBDC possible. But you're asking, Trey, but how is that going to have an impact on everyone? Well, the reason why it's going to have an impact on every other CBDC uh, nation or country out there is because people look to the U.S. People don't move unless the U.S. moves. If the U.S. doesn't move, they won't move. Hence, everybody's waiting for the U.S. to um, the U.S. cryptocurrency exchanges to relist XRP. No one has really relisted XRP. None of the ma- major exchanges have really relisted XRP because the U.S. has the U.S. dollar as the world reserve currency, and the U.S. uses the uh, the U.S. dollar as a weapon uh, to make people bow down to them. Um, they're not going to move unless the U.S. moves. And I can guarantee you, once this bill gets passed, if this bill gets passed, it's not even a matter of if this bill gets passed. It's when this bill gets passed by Congressman Tom Emmer, everybody is going to adopt that same bill under their CBDCs because they want to do it the right way. And Congressman Tom Emmer is actually doing this the right way. Uh, the Bank of Israel aims to continue to uh, continue the research and a fruitful dialogue with interested parties at all stages of research and development. Now, there's a quote. It feels like most digital shekel CBDC supporters are painting the topic as a broad strokes adoption narrative. Broad strokes adopt that that reminds me of Ripple. In other words, any crypto adoption is still adoption, even if it doesn't adhere to crypto's core values like decentralization and anti-institutionalism. So what that means is. Uh, then it says the CBDC project was first considered by a central bank at the end of 2017, but it wasn't implemented until 2021. So what that means is. We need to watch them carefully because at any given moment at any given time this cbdc can launch and there could be a partnership coming out i'm not saying it's going to happen anytime soon but a lot of the countries are starting to make bitcoin legal tender then you have the imf reaching out saying don't do that don't make bitcoin legal tender but you don't hear them saying something about a cbdc on the xrpl you don't hear them stopping people and saying something about the stellar blockchain. You don't hear IMF saying anything about those two. You don't watch what they do and not what they say, because it's really important. It is super important. All right, everybody. Uh, that do it for me. That's enough of, C- of my CBDC rant. Oh, wow. We still looking over at the prices. Uh, looks like we got... We're still at a 1.3. We're at a 1.3 trillion dollar market cap. Bitcoin is under three thousand, under thirty thousand again. We got Bitcoin at twenty nine thousand one hundred twenty. We got Ethereum at two thousand one hundred eighty five. Uh, we got BNB at two hundred seventy six dollars. XRP at forty two cents. Cardano at fifty five cents. Solana at fifty one dollars and seventy cents. Dogecoin eight cents. Polkadot nine dollars dang polka dot is down 22 percent jeez avalanche 31 dollars and 82 cents tron seven cents i haven't seen tron in a while shiba inu under a penny everything is down all because of the luna stable coin oh and also inflation actually has went up higher than expected i think it's up about eight percent all right everybody That will do it for me. Please make sure you smash the likes and hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell so you will be notified any and every time that I post another video. As always, stay focused. Stay locked in. Peace.